Welcome back to Fresh. I'm Te Wheeler Blakely, and this is my world. I was completely aware of the fact that no one was probably going to take me seriously wanting to be an actor or wanting to do the kind of career I did. I was a single Samoan solo mother from West Auckland who worked in a mall. And you tell people, oh yeah, I want to be an actor. And they're like this, okay, this girl is crazy. You know, seriously, nobody, nobody took me seriously. And they were like, oh, you better pay your dues. What do you think about it? You didn't even go to drama school. I'm a drama school actor, you know? And so I was like, man, maybe I am out of my league here. So I go in my room as Te Wheeler, And I come out as Vasilevi. Gonna get ready now, go kick some ass at Shortland Street Hospital. My first day on Shortland Street when I when I got this role as Vasilevi, because you see I, I'd never acted no full time no like this and, and let alone in a machine like Shortland Street that puts a show out a day. And you know, I'd had friends that had had roles on it and I kind of knew what was involved, but you know, I, I didn't hadn't experienced it myself, apart from the time when I was an extra. And so I was still really, really nervous. Oh, and um, I went up to Robbie and I was like, oh man, I am so nervous. I don't know what I'm gonna do. And he goes, oh, you'll be fine, Wills. You'll be fine. You've done this before. I'm like, that's it. <laughs> There's nothing to talk about. As soon as all is ready, we'll be on our way. Well, couldn't you wait for Maxwell? He's at work, but um, I can call him. If all is really going, he'll want to say goodbye. He said goodbye to Oli years ago. That should have been the end of it. Hola! Hurry up! I was actually born in Tauranga and spent the first eight years of my life there and then I moved to West Auckland where I still live today. I used to make the most of school and, and just absolutely loved every moment. I think a lot of um, Pacific Islanders would relate to this. For me, school was like my freedom and it was like the only free time I had in life because you know, once you walk through those doors at home, that's it. This is the room that I spent most of my time in high school in. Before school, after school, lunchtime, you'd find me here. Every time I waked PE, you'd find me here. My favourite on stage moment in school would have been doing Greece at Waitakere College. And also, too, like I didn't know at the time, but the very next year after that, because uh, I was sixth form when we did that show, I became a mother. I thought mum might kill me, but she disowned me and I, I, th I think I knew that that was definitely a distinct possibility, but I didn't know if I really believed she would actually do it, but she actually did. And every time I've ever hit a brick wall in my life where I thought nothing could go on or nothing was going to work out, there was always one person that went nuts, you know, and that one person at that time was my dad. He is the kindest, he is the kindest, most beautiful man. Yeah. Took whatever job I could get, which at 16 and no experience, is um, really limited. So my first job was in West City at Barker and Pollock, um, cutting fabric for like less than $5 an hour. You know, I remember like I used to feel kind of stink sometimes because you know girls that I went to school with who all went to university and then and even girls I didn't know who went to university and I don't know were probably doing a lot better in their minds than than Miss Solo Mother over here working in West City. But and I used to get a little bit sort of like people used to look down on me and stuff like that and I couldn't understand that because I felt good about being able to feed my son. Friend said to me, "Well, why don't you write a play and put the play on?" And it was amazing because. It ended up getting this awesome review in, in the New Zealand Herald. And that was the turning point for me when people finally went, actually, I think we will see for her for an audition. And then that's how that started. This isn't just a business about your talent. Let's be honest, it's a business about your looks. When they ask Robbie Mangasiva to take his shirt off, that ain't easy to look like that, okay? You know, um, 
we all have to work very hard at our diets. We all have to work very hard at working out. Um, you know, at my age, it's not as easy as what it used to be. It's one thing to have dreams, right? And then they come true. <laughs> and you're like, oh, hold up. Everything I actually wanted actually happened. I don't know how I, you can't feel anything but grateful, just, just thankful to life, to everything, even the hard times, because it's all contributed to where I am today and I love where I'm today.